Right, I'm at the uh, National Association for Local Councils event, Create a Council, where we're talking about are local councils for London a good idea? And I'm here with uh, Justin Griggs from uh, NALC and uh, David Drew. David, first of all, tell us about Andover, where you have actually created a local council. What difference has it made? Well, um, the Andover Town Council has taken over the allotments, um, and I think for the most part we've adopted a much more dynamic approach than we had previously. Um, one of the things that we're building up at the moment is a five-year plan, so we're able to build on what the community wants and uh, based on ideas that councillors on the town council have, we'll obviously be taking the, the, the town plan out for consultation. Um, it's really about trying to serve the community and trying to make Andover um, you know, a better place for everyone. And what's the difference between having a town council and having a lively local forum? Money, I suppose, is one thing? Well, a town council has many more powers at its disposal, um, whereas a councillor's forum, uh, which we did have, um, was much more of a, a consultative and an advisory body. Um, I think over a period of a f the next year or two, we are going to see some significant changes in the way in which the heart of the town is promoted. I think that's particularly important. Um, and the way in which we engage with local people. Again, you know, absolutely critical. What are local councils for if they're not there to engage actively with uh, local people? And Justin, why do you think this might be a good idea for London? And are we seeing some signs of uh, enthusiasm and grassroots campaigning for councils in London? It's putting the community back into London. London is made up of a whole bunch of diverse places and villages. That's what makes up this wonderful capital that we have. Our campaign and our story is about bringing some of that home, about putting people in the driving seat, about changing their places and really making decisions and having influence in the place in which they live. We've campaigned long and hard to get the law changed to allow people in London who weren't allowed to set up a council for a number of years where other places in the country were allowed to. Why were people in Birmingham, Manchester and Leeds allowed to set up a council? We've seen them do so. We've seen more than 200 communities outside the capital take grassroots democracy into their fold. Why, why was that not the case previously? So now Londoners have the opportunity that the rest of the country do. You know, this is all about putting power into the hands of local people. It's for people to decide. London is no, no different to anywhere else in the country. So are some people in London beginning to take that power and campaign for a local council? We're really pleased with the interest that's uh, being shown in uh, stepping forward and making a difference and having a conversation around how people might take more responsibility for the place in which they live. It's not about power. It's not as much about influence. It's about people having a look at their area and saying, what do we love? What do we not love about our area? And how might we be able to make some of those changes? And what uh, our bit of local government brings to the table, what our brilliant bit of local government brings to the table is the ability to be able to do that, that's generally independent of party politics, that is elected and has a democratic mandate to serve local people and has quite a powerful tool in reinvesting local people's money in making a difference in their community. How much money might, might we be talking about for a London neighbourhood raising a precept? What might their council be able to spend? Well, it's really down to local people. It's down to their local ambitions and to the things that they want to tackle. You know, if, they're, if they think that their London borough and other service providers have got everything sewn up and are doing everything they really need, they might not need to have a different form um, of community governance and an organisation in their area. But if they think that there are some other things where they can add some value, where there are some things that they think that they can tackle and work with local people and work with other service providers on, then the sky's the limit. It's really down to local people to determine what is appropriate for them and how they move forward. So if anybody's interested in London, what's their next step? Well, the next step is to talk to us. You know, we are the, the, the only single organisation representing grassroots democracy in our country. We represent 9,000 local councils and 80,000 councillors. They can get in touch with us at www.nauk.gov. UK. They can get in touch with our Creator Council campaign. Our hashtag is Creator Council. Hyperlocal democracy. 
you know, you name it, we've got we've got the slogans for it. But you know, we're, we're out there. We're flying the flag for people. We're flying the flag for communities, and we would just really encourage people to get in touch and start a conversation.